When it comes to spraying herbicide, the number one thing we always want to consider is not just the weed control, it's the damage to the crop. Well, in soybeans, soybeans are much more sensitive to crop injury once they begin to flower. With indeterminate soybeans like we have in the northern United States, they're going to begin flowering shortly after the longest day of the year, which is June 21st. So in other words, if you haven't seen flowering on your farm yet, you're going to in the very near future. Now there are a lot of things here as, as those flowers start. As Brian mentioned, it's such a uh, sensitive time for those plants. We know that we can impact yield at this point if we hurt the plant. So we've got to be really cautious. And when you think about that, you're probably thinking about the PPO type products like a Flexstar, Ultra Blazer, or Cobra. Those are the products that tend to show up on the leaves the most as if they're damaging the plants. But please don't think, well, I can just spray anything out there. I can spray Roundup on Roundup Ready Soybeans or Liberty on Liberty Link Soybeans or other herbicide tolerant options. Maybe that's not the best idea, even if you have products that are labeled to be sprayed after that, because you are still going to stress the plant. The plant is going to have to work through that herbicide, even if it's tolerant to it. It's still gonna to have to expend energy right during a time where it should be putting out blooms and starting to make some pots. What Darren's getting at here is ideally, we'd love to have you finish all your herbicide spraying by the time the beans start to flower. We realize we don't live in a perfect world, we don't farm in a perfect world, and sometimes you have a whole bunch of weeds that come later on. Well, look, if the weeds are going to hurt you 10 bushels and the herbicide is going to hurt you a half bushel, let's say, I'm going to kill the weeds rather than worry about any potential injury to my crop. But the big thing that we wanted to stress to you today is especially if you have some harsher herbicides, like Darren mentioned the PPOs, and especially I'd say Cobra, get that done now. The other great thing about spraying Cobra right now, for example, is Cobra is an absolute white mold suppressor. In fact, it's just about as good as the best fungicides on the market today. So if you go out there, even with a half rate of Cobra, like six ounces, right before flowering, you should have pretty good control of white mold. You only spent about five to seven dollars an acre, and you also have some weed control with that too. So again, we'd really like to see those PPOs sprayed early. Now, Darren mentioned Flexstar. I don't just look at that as crop injury. I look at that as carryover too. Don't forget that the rotation restriction to corn with Flexstar is 10 months. So if you're gonna spray June 20th, for example, that means you can't plant corn until April 20th next year. So we're right about to the end for spraying Cobra, Flexstar, and any of the PPOs. And as Brian said, we're not in this perfect world. So you may have a weed outbreak where you say, okay, I have to use one of those. What's the best way to do it? Well, one thing that we'll see farmers do is back off on adjuvants a little bit. So rather than putting on a high load of a crop oil, maybe they back it off to just a 1% solution. Or maybe they'll switch from a crop oil or methylated seed oil down to a non-ionic surfactant instead. Now, non-ionic surfactants are gonna have a little less burn on the plants, but here's the trade-off. You don't get quite the weed control. One other thing that I've seen that's really helped reduce burn but it hasn't really cut back on weed control at all, is adding in some solubor with products like Cobra. If we put a pound and a quarter of solubor in per acre, that tends to reduce burn, especially in fields where you need some more boron. And looking at soil and plant tissue tests from across the continent this year, we're seeing a lot of fields that need some boron. So getting that out there and meeting your nutrient demands for your plant will help reduce the stress as well. Well, once again, soybean flowering is going to be occurring soon. Whether you planted early or late doesn't matter. Soybean flowering is gonna be happening if you can get your harsh herbicide sprayed before soybean flowering and use caution when spraying any herbicide after flowering. Well, one weed that you might be out after is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next.